So it's not any surprise that everybody's playing Pokemon Go. Your cousins, your brothers, your sisters, everyone is playing Pokemon Go. And it's been downloaded off the App Store and the Google Play Store over like a couple millions of right here. But I'm not going to be talking about all the performance issues. I've already been talking about them like in every almost every single video I've been doing about the get the, the app i talk about there's so many login issues but i won't get into that um because they've been updating it and it's actually a lot better like i still get you know i'm still saying like you can't sign in uh i get like a 60 percent chance that i'm able to sign in on the first try no uh question no no problem at all but anyways uh with so many people downloading this app some crazy stuff's been going on and i got three articles all three of them will be in the link in the description. Uh, I'm not going to uh, just basically read it off, you know, as for you to read it. I'll basically read off the titles and I'll just talk about it and then give you my opinion exactly like what is going on. Uh, oh, man, dude, this is horrible. Okay, the first article is from uh, bbc.co.uk, which is, um, I, I don't know, it's a news article in in I don't in Britain, I, I honestly don't really care. Um, anyways, they have a t article titled "Pokemon Go Player Finds Dead Body in Wyoming River While Searching for a Pokestop." God damn, man! Even when you think you know stuff couldn't get any worse in this generation, in this place, this society that we live in, man, people are trying to play Pokemon Go and they find a dead body. So, um, the witness. Her name is Shyla. I think, yeah, that's how you pronounce her name. She told the County 10 News, I was walking towards the bridge along the shore when I saw something in the water. I had to take a second look and I realized it was a body. Oh, man. She went on to say, I was pretty shocked. I didn't really know what to do at first, but I called 911 right away and they came really quickly. That is the first thing you should do. If you see a dead body, do not approach it. You never know. Just call 911, all right? Um... Uh, the Fairmont County Sheriff's Department uh, office gave out a statement saying the death appeared to be accidental in nature and possibly that was of drowning I, in the river. I, I don't know, man. Who's going to in the river? There's a picture here. The river doesn't even look that deep. I don't know if anyone will go uh, swim in that. I'm pretty sure someone, you know, knocked them up and then uh, dropped them over there. So that kind of sucks. So, oh, man, people are finding that, you know, and I, uh, I'll talk about this other article because I was about to get into it. You know, this game is extremely i don't know if you're gonna go into like a river or make sure it's like if you don't want to have any problems make sure you're playing pokemon go in a very very public place you know just to, i don't know something like this wouldn't happen or you get robbed which is in the next article just please be careful when you play this damn game god damn man um ah, there's some other they also talk about this other dude that like fell I, I don't know but that's crazy man think about that playing pokemon go and you find a dead body instead of a pokestop you, you just want to go and get some more pokeballs and some energy and then next you know you see the dead body man that sucks uh links in the description want to go read the full article i also i really recommend you do next article comes from gizmodo.com it's like a tech website anyways the title is called armed robbers use pokemon go to find nine victims god damn ah man i was i was talking about this um with my buddy the other day is that with pokemon go it uses your gps and that can easily your phone can easily be hacked and it can easily be tracked where you're going you know since it's real time so it literally follows where you're walking and that's pretty scary and basically these dudes waited at like a gym or something and um oh man they waited at a gym because in the game you have these gyms and it's not just like random for each player it's in your town or city they have specific gyms, and they're not changing the location. So a bunch of people are going to go to those gyms to battle. And these dudes, you know, they were, they have, man, I don't want to say clever because they're pretty scumbags, you know what I mean? Um, but I don't know if it's a gym or a Pokestop. Honestly, I, I can't really, I don't want to say which, uh, it's a Pokestop. Um, basically, you get free Pokeballs and free stuff there. So basically, they waited there. And what they did is they mugged some people. And uh, what is it, business to parking lots to churches? Oh man, um, this happened in St. Charles uh, County. I think that's I don't know where that's at. Too honest with you, um, God, you know they're getting robbed. That's like why I said, please be careful when you're playing Pokemon Go. Like, I, you know, honestly, this is the beginning. I'm telling you, this game is not even a week old, and I'm pretty sure we're gonna see a bunch of stuff like this happening. 
this is pretty crazy uh yeah they're just getting mugged some kids are getting mugged um they're arrested and their bail and their uh, oh their bond was set at a hundred thousand dollars cash only goddamn i hope these guys stay in prison for a little while not just get off bail but hopefully they realize what they're doing is scummy um hopefully this article shines some light please please if you're going this is why i try to tell so much people when you're doing anything like craigslist or pokemon go actually now it fits in this category if you're going to go out in public and you're going to go to places please bring a partner with you you know what i mean don't go alone to these pokemon stops don't go alone to these gyms go with a, a friend a parent anybody you never know what happens this is the crazy world we live in it's like the world we live in now is like you have a pretty damn high chance of getting shot just by stepping a foot outside there's so many shootings god damn anyways the next article is coming from slate.com i'll leave a link in the description as usual um title goes be careful about logging into pokemon go with your google account damn it this is the article i went with talking this one pissed me off when you first make your account for pokemon go or you turn on the app and it says you can either log into your pokemon uh account i, I don't know what that is or you log in with your google Obviously, people have more Google accounts. These are for the casual gamers. They're not going to have a Pokemon account. So, obviously, more people are um, going to log into your Google account. That's what I did. Uh, and I logged in with my main one. You know what I mean? So, I'm pretty tripped out. Anyways, when it says you log in, you're actually giving access to your... F you're giving full access to your Google account. Like, and when I mean full access, I mean like literally everything about Google. YouTube, Gmail... Uh, news, docs, drive, literally everything. It will give uh, the developer Niantic Labs full access. And if their servers get hacked, if their database gets hacked, you're basically hacked. Because if you're like me, I don't want to say that. There's people, there's people that use, they link their Gmail with like PayPal or Wells Fargo, US Bank, their bank accounts. That's scary stuff. Uh, Google. And um, Google has a statement, basically, what, is it, what it means to get full access. They said, and I quote, when you grant full account access, the application can see and modify nearly all information in your Google account. But it can't, be change your, it can't change your passcode, delete your account, or pay with Google Wallet on your behalf. So I guess, you know, it's still, you can't, you can't change your passcode. They can't delete your account or pay with Google Wallet. But it's still pretty dangerous because then they can get your Gmail and they can get some class, classified documents in your Google Drive. You know, that's very, very sketchy. Uh, it goes on to continue this for uh, this in quotes this quotation for for account access privilege should only be granted to applications you fully trust and which are installed on your personal computer phone or tablet i mean this is a mobile game that's been downloaded mo millions of times and even the servers are so buggy their their servers are so they're so cracked they're so uh what's the word I'm, they're so weak i mean like I'm pretty sure you they you know people are hackers are already onto this man they're onto it like like nothing, but I mean it just blows my mind like for one thing why do they need full access to your Google account I don't know why they need full access I'm about to load up Pokemon Go let's see if it loads up anyways why does it need full access I really don't know all it needs is your email address and maybe view slash manage. No, no, man. You just view your basic information, such as your name and your email address. That's all they really need, right? Because they don't need full access. Like I said, this is very, very crazy. I mean, like, this is very crazy. And there's other bias, you know, articles written by, like, all the white people. And, you know, people saying, like, oh, the game's addicting. Video games are addicting. Um, they're worse than drugs. Uh, they're the devil's work. Oh, man, I'm getting sick and tired of those video game articles. Um, and we're hearing other articles about pokemon go obviously like i said the game is being downloaded millions and millions of times so i don't expect this type of stuff to happen i mean to stop happening anyways I, it failed to log in i'm gonna try to retry uh there's an update july 12th which was last night in the day that i'm recording this uh niantic gave a statement to the verge which is another uh, uh newspaper they basically said um we recently discovered that the pokemon go account creation process on ios enormously requests full access permission to users google account however pokemon go only access basic google information specifically user id and email address and no other google account information is or has been accessed or collected uh kinda, it's kind of bs i mean like honestly why would you even you know what i mean why would you um request full access oh there's a pokemon <laughs> right here anyways uh, i'm about to catch this pokemon real quick anyways why would it give full access that doesn't make any sense they're all they're obviously trying to uh cover the tracks i mean like there's, there's no way 
there's no way any app should um acts have full permission to your whole Google account except for Google affiliated apps like YouTube or Gmail. Those apps have should have uh, full access. Anyways, I'm trying to I'm stuttering so much because I, I just got this Pokemon. Let's try. I don't know what his name is. He's like some Rocky dude. His name is Rhyhorn. It's R H Y Horn. I don't know. Anyways, crazy stuff is going on with Pokemon Go, man. Please be careful. Um, the updates are kind of fixing it, so hopefully there's new fixes for the game. If you do like this video, please give it a thumbs up, and I'll catch you guys later.